It's Cape Town in South Africa. It's morning. Twelve young cadets are preparing for several days of exams. They have been underway for nine months of the multi-year education program. The twelve Angolans have got the opportunity to study to be officers and engineers. The cadets were selected from more than 900 applicants. The first six months were spent on English lessons. English is the global maritime language and the company language of Mesk Supply Service. In some years, they will be entrusted with the safety of their colleagues and of Mesk Supply Service vessels, and so the ability to communicate clearly is critical for the safety of the operation. The advanced level of education places enormous demands on their language skills. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't speak English as much as I'm speaking now, yes. I didn't know anything about grammar, how to speak. In just half a year, they have had to advance to a level where they can comprehend maths, science and nautical studies in English. With this background in maritime English, they can now undergo four to five years of higher education at, among others, Cape Town University of Technology to become officers and engineers. This means intensive training, studies and tests. They are on their first week of written exams. Some difficult, it's normal, it's normal, but we are, we are jumping the difficult. After maritime English and theory, their next challenge is to live and work on a ship. Uh, the sea waves, yeah, sea waves, is a, as I can see, is a big challenge really. And they, we are prepared. The group of 12 cadets is part of an education initiative by Mersk Supply Service in Angola. More than 70 trainees are currently enrolled in the extensive seafarer training program launched in 2012. Besides deck officers and engineers, Mersk Supply Service also trains able seafarers, ships cooks and stewards. Watch more videos on the Mask YouTube channel. Thank you.